Podcast Studio Artist, Miss Vincent here, and today what we're going to be doing is doing Cotton Swap Cherry Blossom Artwork. Make sure you guys subscribe to Michelle Vincent Art. All right, let's begin. In today's lesson, you are going to be using cotton swabs to make a cherry blossom painting. Here are the supplies you need. Newspaper for the back paper, canvas, or cardboard to paint on, Q-tips wrapped in a rubber band, individual Q-tips, a toothbrush for splattering, comb, acrylic paints, green, blue, white, pink, a dark black or purple, also a rag for cleanup, a can for water, and individual paintbrushes. The first thing you need is to set up your paint. I did white, blue, and then the pink, which is like a dark pink. Now I'm gonna place a circle up here to create the moon that I want. You can use anything to create that circle. I'm gonna use the water container, and then I'm gonna put it up here in the top, and then I'm just gonna trace it lightly. It's all right. It doesn't need to be perfect, and then that's going to be where I'm going to place the moon. Now, I'm going to take my paintbrush, and I'm going to start with the white. And I know, dip it in the water, and start with the white. Then I'm going to ombre the white into the blue, and then into the purple as it further goes out. Be with you in a second. So we did this awesome bomb dickity background. You can see the moon in it with the ombre background. And I left the bottom so that way I could do grass on the bottom background. Now I'm gonna do this with a green and white. If you don't have green, you can do a black. And if you did the ombre all the way to the bottom or if you want to do the ombre all the way to the bottom, that's up to you. You're the artist. Okay, let's begin. So now I'm gonna add in the branches of the cherry blossom. I'm gonna start with the bigger ones and then I'll add in the smaller um, branches that go off of it and then the little twigs. All right, let's begin. finished my branch and notice that I wrapped it around the moon so it's shining through the tree. Also, I'm going to go on to the cherry blossoms which I'm sure you are all excited about. I have my q-tips and they're wrapped in the rubber band and also one that's by itself so I can have little cherry blossoms floating in the wind. Here, let's begin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back and do some splattering with my paintbrush to add some extra dimension behind it so it looks like it's further away in terms of the cherry blossoms. I'm also gonna go and add in some detailing with some darker colors in terms of the branches and have those branches kind of go in and out and then finish up the bottom. I'll get back to you. Okay, 
Okay, now what I want us to do is to paint the, if you have a canvas or if you have um, a cardboard, paint the edges of your um, canvas and then also sign your name. If you don't have a canvas, don't worry about it, but I do want you to sign your name. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let's do something awesome. I know you're going to make amazing cherry blossom paintings with Q-tips. <laughs> Here are a variety of cotton swab painting examples. Notice how the artists on the bottoms have painted the backgrounds of theirs before applying the cotton swabs to their cherry blossoms. Furthermore, you don't have to just do white and pink for your cherry blossoms. These artists have done yellow and rainbow and the bottom left one, the artist did half blue and then half pink. Whatever you want to do is your choice. You will make beautiful cherry blossoms in your cherry blossom painting. After you finish your cotton swab cherry blossom painting, take a picture of your art, download your art, post it on Google Classroom, share your art on Google Hangout, like this video, and subscribe to Michelle Vincent Art. All right, bye. Bye, Michelle. <laughs> Bye, students. I'll see you next time.